the python attacked the little girl. But what the eagle did was amazing. While this snake was attacking the boy, the eagle was doing something very interesting. For many people, eagles are often thought to only repel pests and protect livestock. However, for this boy, sometimes we are very used to talking about how humans take care of and help animals. But this act of kindness is based on the fact that animals don't cause much trouble to humans. Everyone says nice words, but few people actually devote their energy and time to rescuing stray dogs or wild animals in distress. Only those who have love and compassion for animals will do so. Unfortunately, we don't have too many of these people around us. However, some animals return the kindness to those who have helped them. Now, I want to tell you an amazing story that happened in Russia. In a small village in the Pamir region, there was a little girl who lived with her grandfather and worked in the outskirts of the village. One day, as usual, after a busy day, he was tiredly walking home. He didn't look well that day. So he decided to walk straight through the forest to get there quickly. It was winter, cold, and soon it became dark. And the man wanted to hurry home. He crossed the forest quickly. And suddenly he saw a shadow flashing between the trees. He didn't stop, thinking it was just a hallucination. But he was afraid. His granddaughter was playing in the yard. In the winter silence, he heard a loud rustling. She felt uncomfortable and tried to escape, but it was too late. A huge python jumped out of the forest and came straight at the little girl. The python snarled with sharp teeth and looked angry. With a threatening gaze in its eyes. Since the python was staring at the little girl, she was scared and felt that she would soon die. She stopped where she was and began to cry, calling for help from her grandfather. Then, a miracle truly happened. The little girl suddenly saw a huge eagle waving its wings. As it descended from the sky, the eagle flapped its wings, causing a lot of snow to fall from the trees onto the python. Before long, the eagle keenly stuck its powerful beak into the python's body. At first, the little girl thought that the eagle had trapped the python under its wings. Then, the python and the eagle engaged in a fierce struggle. The python lost and quickly disappeared into the bushes. In fact, the little girl was very close to the python. As evidenced by the crumbs the python scattered on the snow. The little girl couldn't say a word but just stared in wonder at the eagle. That had just saved her life. The eagle sat quietly at a distance. Cleaning its feathers as if nothing had happened. Suddenly, the little girl saw the eagle's leg and stared at it. She was shocked and accidentally fell into the snow. Then she cried. What made this little girl cry like a child? There was a black ring on the eagle's leg. Made of grass and blackened by time. The little girl wept with joy. Unable to believe what was happening. She thought it was impossible. When she came to her senses, she realized that everything in the world is interconnected. Do you want to know what happened many years ago? While walking in the city, this man went to a bird market, where different kinds of birds were being sold. From yellow canaries to talking parrots and huge parrots. These beautiful feathered animals fascinated the little girl. At that moment, she heard the noise of a crowd that surrounded a stall. But she couldn't see anything. While walking through the crowd, she noticed a merchant with a weak eagle. The eagle was helpless and looked like it had just hatched. At that time, people gathered around the stall, arguing over the price for the eagle. But the seller offered a very high price and was not willing to lower it. The little girl approached and offered a very high price, which made the seller happy. But he still wanted more money, so the little girl gave him her watch which made the seller smile brightly and gave the little girl the eagle. The man carefully put the eagle into his shirt and kept it warm, then took it home. He took care of the eagle,
feeding and caring for it. Two years later, the eagle grew up and became beautiful. Then, the little girl took it to the forest and released it. Beasts always like to live freely. Before releasing the eagle, the grandfather and the little girl put a brass ring on its leg. The man thought that life was always changing. And maybe they would see each other again. After that, they really did see each other again. Thirty years later, this eagle accidentally saved this little girl and her grandfather. While eagles are not known to love humans in the same way that dogs or cats do, they are capable of forming strong bonds with humans. Eagles are wild animals that are not domesticated. And they don't have the same capacity for emotional attachment as humans do. However, eagles can be trained to interact with humans. And they can form strong bonds with their trainers. There are many stories of eagles that have been rescued and rehabilitated by humans. And these eagles have often come to trust and even love their rescuers. Yes, animals remember those acts of kindness. When the eagle saw someone it knew in danger, it bravely rushed over to help her. Good deeds are rewarded by good people. The breeders of the Richmond Zoo love the animals in the zoo very much. Many times, when the animals are giving birth, they need to observe from the sidelines to prevent any accidents to the animals. A cheetah just gave birth to its own cub. When the breeder looked closely, he let out a scream. What happened, cheetahs are beautiful and unique animals. These majestic creatures are the fastest animals on land. And as impressive as they are, they are also in danger. Because of poaching and climate change, cheetahs are experiencing a decline in their numbers. They have become endangered animals. That's why many animal intervention groups are working hard to improve their numbers. They must take some measures to protect these precious animals. Melanie was one of the intervention projects for cheetahs. And something magical happened. When the cheetah became pregnant, the staff couldn't help cheering and celebrating. Because cheetahs are not easy to get pregnant. And it has become very rare, because cheetahs are not random reproduce. These cheetahs have their own unique persistence that has been passed down from generation to generation. As they grow older, female cheetahs will gather with male cheetahs. And they are very picky about their mates. Making it difficult to improve the population situation of cheetahs. So choosing the best mate for them is crucial. And the female cheetah in this story is no exception. Melanie is a beautiful and intelligent three-year-old girl. According to the standards of cheetahs, she has reached the fertile age. The zookeeper thinks it is time. So she introduces a potential mate to her. And also hope that it can contribute to. Increasing the number of cheetahs in the world as soon as possible. Zookeepers arranged for one of the zoo's most popular male cheetahs. Just for him and tried to pair them up, but it has been unsuccessful. Melanie doesn't like it. They don't have any chemistry and it's a very tricky situation. Although very strong and healthy herself. Melanie seems uninterested in her male companion. In fact she almost always ignores or avoids her male companion completely. About six weeks passed without any progress in the mating process. The zookeepers realized if they were going to make the project a success. They needed to introduce Melanie to a new companion. They need to change their plans. And of course they won't force it to mate with a cheetah they don't like. So they need to do their best to find a partner for Melanie. But what is unexpected is that this happened soon. The zookeeper brought a six-year-old cheetah. And Melanie immediately fell in love with the six-year-old male cheetah. Don't waste any time. They expressed their love for each other from the first meeting. The chemistry between them is very good. This couple is very sweet, play together every day. They are almost connected. Don't want each other get out of each other's sight. The zookeeper is also very happy to see them get along in harmony. It seems that Melanie has found a partner. 
someone she really likes. Soon, the staff noticed some interesting changes in Melanie. Its eating habits suddenly changed. And some typical behavioral characteristics also changed. The staff boldly speculated that maybe just as they planned. Melanie was pregnant. They suppressed their joy and asked Melanie to undergo a medical test. After the results came out, it proved that their conjecture was indeed correct. Melanie is finally pregnant. Much to the delight of everyone working on the project. It looks like their cheetah family will have a new member. And things are finally looking up for the species. That a few months later. Zookeepers began planning for Melanie's delivery. Cheetahs are not pregnant for very long. So action must be taken quickly. The average pregnancy period of a female leopard is about 92 to 98 days. Which is more than three months. During this period, the zookeepers created a beautiful and comfortable environment for Melanie. They used very comfortable materials for the floor. In order to give Melanie a good experience. For this newborn cheetah cub. The administrators also installed a camera in the enclosure. Because they were worried that they would not be able to be there in person. So that when Melanie gave birth, they could still keep an eye on it. Just in case something happened what is the problem? Just like humans, we cannot predict the exact date of birth. And the same is true for cheetahs. Nothing is certain, and the staff must always be prepared until one day. Melanie started exhibiting some strange behavior. And the first thing the zookeepers noticed was that she became very restless. A pregnant cheetah walking around impatiently. Until 3 o'clock in the morning. Melanie walked into the specially made enclosure for her. The zookeepers watched this magical moment. And everyone couldn't help their hearts beating faster. And their eyes moist, Melanie began pacing around the pen. Finding herself a comfortable birthing position. Lying down, crouching, standing. Dutifully trying that at around 4.23 am. Melanie gave birth to her first baby. And as soon as she was born, Melanie had already cleaned it up. And she showed her motherly love. The cute little baby had its eyes closed. But everyone could tell it was healthy and it was breathing steadily, the staff were ecstatic. And just as they were about to leave the observation room for a physical examination of the leopard cubs, something surprising happened. It turns out that Melanie didn't just have a baby. The cheetah continued to pace around the enclosure. When the staff saw it becoming agitated again, they stopped their steps. They returned to the observation room, still through the camera. Start tracking its whereabouts that IT was 5.20 AM. And about an hour later Melanie gave birth to another beautiful cub just. As she did with her first litter and Melanie cleaned it up gently to confirm baby's breathing. Everything is fine. It then took the cub in its beak, placed it next to its siblings. And finally lay down to rest, the caretakers excitedly announced on social media. That Melanie had given birth to two cubs. Their project has been a success, two cubs is an amazing feat. But this leopard mama made it. Even though this is only its first pregnancy, Everyone is singing the praises of the cheetah. But the crew didn't know what to expect in the next few hours. They didn't realize that Melanie wasn't over. And in fact, it was far from it, around 7.20 am. Melanie got up and started pacing around. Taking the other two cubs to the other side of the pen. So she wouldn't sit or step on it. Melanie squatted down again and waited patiently. And about 10 minutes later, Melanie gave birth to her third calf. And she cleaned up the cubs and lay down again. Everyone was watching. Stunned by the incredible scene. Multiple births are not uncommon. Two hours between them is very unusual. But Melanie's surprising deliveries didn't stop there. As she gave birth to her fourth cub at 10.05 am and another at 11.34 am. It wasn't until the birth of the sixth cub. 
that Melanie's labor was completely over. The six-hour delivery was not easy. And the staff rushed to let Melanie rest. They uploaded a video on social networks showing Melanie. And Melanie's children and everyone cheering for them. Everyone knows that childbirth is a very painful process for mothers. But there is no doubt that Melanie is already a very good mother.